Hi again folks, this is Professor Mughal here again. Uh, this is going to be one of the very interesting projects that I'm doing. And this is a can solder. A lot of tons of tons of plastic is wasted every day. And I thought of, you know, making a project that would not just help you guys, but help the community and the society we live in in many ways. So it's Arduino Nano based uh, can plastic solder. I'm going to 3D print the casing for it and all the stuff, put it together, uh, do the programming. It's pretty simple and easy and I'll give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. And once the uh, we have a metal detector that you must have seen a video uh, that I published a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to use that metal detector to detect the metal uh, from the aluminum can. And once it's detected, the motor changes its orientation, position, uh, and then uh, it goes to a trash can. Uh, so uh, similarly for the plastic, when it senses plastic, it changes the orientation the other way and then we have two separate bins collecting aluminum cans, metals, and then the plastic. So this is what we're gonna do today. Uh, let's get started, okay? So I already went ahead and soldered the uh, Arduino Nano onto this PCB board and I, I left some header pins in there and shorted them as you can see at the back right here. Uh, so it's easier for us to make connections by using the female jumper wires right here. So I've some make, uh, made some more extra connections for ground if needed. Uh, here is going to be our D4, D5, D6, the digital input signal that we're going to use. Uh, and some, you're going to use 9 volt battery, so that's connected to VN right here. And then we're going to use this 5 volt right here to supply power to the servo motor and the metal detector. Okay? Alright, so just make sure you get this done part nice and clean. Um, Alrighty.
Alright, so the code is pretty simple and easy. I'm basically using uh, pin number 9 to attach my servo. I got a metal sensor pin output, uh, which becomes the input to the pin 5. And then we have LED pin and the light dependent resistor connected to A3 and 6. Initially, everything is set to low, zero. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and uh, set a position initially for the servo. Uh, that's what this part of the code is doing right here. Uh, I'm basically defining my inputs and output here uh, with metal sensor and uh, light dependent resistor being input. And then the uh, uh, LED and the uh, LED is going to be output, which is going to remain high. So what's going to happen once you put the uh, put the aluminum can or, or plastic glass in there, it's going to stop the light. Uh, you know, uh, pan, it's not going to pan. The light is not going to penetrate through the glass, and then uh, uh, you know a voltage varies from the LDR, which is then read by the Arduino Nano. Um, so that is that part of the code um, we are going to uh, get the values for the metal sensor and LDR and save it in these variables right here um, and then this is the major part of the code once the metal is detected you get the um, you uh, rotate the servo that's the position I went with uh, for the plastic it goes the other way that's the position set over here um, and then for a standby position, which is uh, set to 95. So it's a pretty simple code and it's pretty easy to understand. There are some comments here, so you can go in there and uh, uh, read if you like, and then I'll share it and leave this file in the description for you as well.